on your timeline before I share with you on 14 signs I always have a, like a little appetizer before the main meal okay and so um, there are four stages of demonization four stages of demonization the first stage so meaning when a Christian is demonized okay and that's really the word that is used in the New Testament in the New Testament there is no word called demon possession the translation from King James uses that word but the original word is demonized so every case of demonic possession is really demonized and this demonization comes in four stages and some people can be you know lightly demonized and some people can be heavily so I'll give you those four stages I didn't come up with these four stages I copied from somebody else and so uh, because why reinvent the wheel if, if somebody else already went ahead and practiced that and so from one of the people that does deliverance um, he, he shared this so the first one is infestation this demonization is when like haunted house stuff there's footsteps voices um, furniture and objects moving without human agencies orders with now no discernible source um, rather than directly attacking people infestations affect property objects and even animals it's still a part or the first stage of demonization demonization where the enemy cannot get to you but he gets to your stuff he gets to animals he gets to things he gets to um, property uh, demons can attach themselves to objects demons can attach themselves to books demons can attach themselves to pictures demons can attach themselves to properties demons can attach themselves especially if somebody committed suicide in the house especially if um, there were murders that were done especially if there was a rape that was done especially if there was human sacrifice that was offered and a lot of times demons can attach themselves and a person can be demonized a Christian can be demonized even if they're not directly attacked by a demon but what belongs to them is under attack that's the first stage of demonization is infestation the second level of demonization is oppression oppression is where demonic activity steps up with a physical attack such as sleep disturbances as we're going to learn in, in a few minutes um, including nightmares frequent and severe illnesses major depression or anxiety severe financial and employment problems and relationship issues while these things happen to normal people as a normal course of life all of them happening at once or at rapid succession could be a sign of demonic presence so the first one is infestation the second one is oppression the third level of demonization is obsession now obsession is this goes deeper this goes further obsession as the name implies at this stage the afflicted person has a hard time functioning being constantly preoccupied with thoughts of demonic activity commending his or her life meaning demons are commending now their life with frequent thoughts of suicide as well sleep becomes nearly impossible so the demonization level on the obsession level is is the place where the torment reaches almost its highs and the person barely can function their sleep is almost non-existent um, the attacks are very severe and the, there's compulsion, there's this pushing and a driving of a demonic spirit over their lives. Now the fourth level of demonization is possession. Now contrary to popular belief, possession is not a demon entering somebody's body and taking over his soul and becoming the owner. A person's free will is never removed, only severely compromised. In possession, a person is so physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually broken down by going through the first three stages that demonic spirits are able to seize occasional control over the person's actions. And we see that case with a demonized man who had a legion of spirits. It does not mean that he 24-7 lived like that, but he had these episodes where he completely lost control and he would rip things apart as we're going to learn in one of the 14 signs of demand that you have a demon in your life. But this case is already very severe case. We call them the difficult cases where sometimes people need to be chained. Sometimes people end up even in mental institutions or people have to be honestly, they need really serious help. And so 
ultimate goal of Satan is to put every person toward that goal where you completely lose control, where he can gain control over your life. And you can be a Christian and still hit this point. Now, I understand this is going to freak somebody out. You may say, Christian can never be possessed. I'm not talking about in a sense that, that the demon possesses your spirit. I'm not talking about in a sense that a demon completely takes ownership of you. I'm talking about when a demon gets so much of you already that you have a very difficult time to function and a lot of times takes over your actions. Sometimes even a person begins to uh, take their own life, a person that cannot take it anymore and they just end their life or they um, do some other crazy stuff. And I believe there is deliverance. I believe there is power. 